title of this story is Little Raccoon Catches a Cold. It was written by Susan Canizares and illustrated by Christopher Denise. One morning, Little Raccoon woke up early. He looked outside and saw that the sun was shining. He took a deep breath and smelled the woods. He knew right away that it was a perfect day to go outside to play. play. So he hopped out of bed very quickly and got dressed all by himself. He ran downstairs as fast as he could. Just as he reached the door, he heard his mother call out, Little Raccoon, where are you going? Outside to play, cried Little Raccoon. Not without your breakfast, said his mother. You must have a healthy breakfast before you play. If you don't, you might catch a cold. So Little Raccoon sat down and had cereal, toast, and juice. When he finished, he jumped up to run outside. But before he reached the door, his father called, Little Raccoon, where are you going? Outside to play, said Little Raccoon. Not without your jacket, said Little Raccoon's father. If you don't keep warm, you might catch a cold. So Little Raccoon ran back up to his room and put on his favorite blue jacket. Now, now he was ready. Little Raccoon ran downstairs and almost bumped right into his friend, Red Squirrel. Let's go puddle splashing, said Red Squirrel. Just as they started to go, Little Raccoon's big brother called, Little Raccoon, where are you going? Puddle splashing, he answered. Not without your boots, said Little Raccoon's big brother. If you don't keep your feet dry, you might catch a cold. Little Raccoon looked down and saw Red Squirrel's green boots. So, Little Raccoon stomped back upstairs to find his. He looked in, the, in his closet. They weren't there. He looked under his bed. They weren't there. He even looked in his toy box. But they weren't there. He stopped and said, wait a minute. What if I can catch a cold? I'll trap him and put him in a box and lock him up tight. Little Raccoon got so excited that he forgot all about his boots. He grabbed a sack and filled it up with things he could use to catch a cold. One more time, he ran downstairs. Let's go, Little Raccoon said to Red Squirrel. He whispered softly, we're going to catch a cold. And off they went, and they walked. Little Raccoon was busy looking. He looked up into the trees. He looked behind the bushes. He looked under some rocks. What are you looking for? Red Squirrel asked. We are looking for a cold, Little Raccoon answered. And I'm going to catch him with this. Little Raccoon reached deep inside his sack and pulled out his baseball mitt. Red Squirrel laughed. You can't catch a cold with that. Oh, yes, I can, cried Little Raccoon. Wait and see. And he started to run around, holding his baseball mitt high and waiting for a cold to fly by. Red Squirrel just watched. Then he ate his lunch. Finally, he said to Little Raccoon, You didn't eat any lunch. You can't catch a cold. Let's go puddle splashing. Not yet, said Little Raccoon. I'm going to get that cold, and I'm going to catch him with this. So he reached deep inside his sack and pulled out a butterfly net. Red Squirrel laughed so hard he almost fell over backward. You can't catch a cold with that. Oh, yes, I can, cried Little Raccoon. He took his jacket off and ran around swinging his butterfly net. But Red Squirrel 
was tired of watching Little Raccoon. I'm going puddle splashing myself, he said. He walked down to the edge of the stream. Here I go, he shouted. Come on, try it. Not me, said Little Raccoon. I'm still looking for a cold, and I'm going to catch him with this. This time, he reached deep inside his sack and pulled out his water pail. Red Squirrel could, couldn't stop laughing. You can't catch a cold with that. Oh, yes, I can, cried Little Raccoon. A cold can hide in the air, but he can't hide in the water. And he leaned down to the edge of the stream to scoop up some water. Just then, Little Raccoon remembered that he didn't have his rain boots on. He felt very wet, and he remembered he didn't have his blue jacket on. His arms felt chilly. Still, he stepped a bit closer to the stream. Before he knew it, the little raccoon fell right in. Oh no, cried Red Squirrel, and he rushed to help little raccoon get up. Little raccoon was soaked. I guess you don't want to go puddle splashing anymore, said Red Squirrel. No, said little raccoon. And I don't want to catch a cold anymore, either. Suddenly, Little Raccoon started to shiver. By the time they got back to the house, Little Raccoon could not stop shivering. Waiting at the door with his father, Little Raccoon, you are soaking wet. Where is your jacket? Little Raccoon wanted to say that he was trying to catch a cold with his water pail, but before he could answer, his father scooped him upstairs to his room and helped him put on his striped pajamas. Little Raccoon's big brother walked in. He gave Little Raccoon a hug and rubbed his cold feet. Little Raccoon, he said, your toes are so cold. Didn't you wear your boots? Little Raccoon wanted to say, he was trying to catch a cold with his butterfly net. But before he could answer, his big brother scooped him up on his lap and helped him put on his fuzzy slippers. Then, Little Raccoon's mother came in. Little Raccoon, she said, you left the house before I could pack up your lunch. Weren't you hungry? Little Raccoon wanted to say, he was too busy trying to catch a cold with his baseball mitt, but he knew that wasn't a good answer. So instead, he opened his mouth wide and let his mother give him a spoonful of hot soup. Thank you. I feel warmer now, Little Raccoon said. Can Red Squirrel and I go back outside? Little Raccoon's father started to say something, but he was interrupted by a great big sneeze. Little Raccoon's big brother started to say something, but he was interrupted by another big sneeze. Oh, Little Raccoon, laughed Red Squirrel. You couldn't catch a cold with your baseball mitt or your butterfly net or your water pail, but it looks to me like... A cold caught you. The end.